But who's it from? Susan Flincher. What does she say? Well, prepare yourself for the worst, not the first page. My poor niece never uses one word when 20 will do. Start there. I'm sorry. I am sorry to have to tell you that Hugh has heard a vile story about your granddaughter, Mary. Sorry? She's thrilled. Now, first I must ask, and I want you to think carefully before you answer. Is any of this true? I see. Some of it is true. How much? Oh, dear. She didn't drag him. I wondered about that. I mean, obviously, Susan's forgotten the distance between the girls' rooms and the bachelor's corridor. She couldn't manage it alone. So how did she do it? I helped her. She woke me up and I helped her. Well, I always thought this family might be approaching dissolution. I didn't know dissolution was already upon us. Does Robert know? No, and he isn't going to. Oh. Of course, it was terribly wrong. It was all terribly wrong, but I didn't see. What else? Please. I can't listen to your attempts to try and justify yourself. I know this is hard for you to hear. God knows it was hard for me to live through. But if you expect me to disown my daughter, I'm afraid you will be disappointed. Good day. The Dowager Countess, my lady. Good afternoon, my dear. Good afternoon. There's no need to be so prim. I come in peace. Shall I sit here? Now, I've been thinking. I confess, I do not know if I would have had strength, mentally or physically, to carry a corpse the length of this house. But I hope I would have done. You were quite right. When something bad happens, there's no point in wishing it had not happened. The only option is to minimize the damage. Or try to. But if the flinches have got a hold I've of I've written to Susan. I said it was a story made up by Mr. Pamuk's enemies to discredit him. Even if she doesn't believe me, she won't tell in case it reflects badly on her. The ambassador is dangerous. But then, how many people rarely go to the Turkish embassy? It only takes one. Well, I mean, it just can't be helped. We can't have him assassinated. I suppose. Robert still doesn't suspect. Oh, I should hope not. No, our only way forward is to get Mary settled as soon as possible. I have news on that score. Matthew has proposed. <gasps> my, my. Have she said yes? She hasn't said anything yet, except that she's going to have to tell him about Pamuk. For heaven's sake, why? She thinks to keep it secret would be dishonorable. She reads too many novels. I mean, one way or another, everyone goes down the aisle with half the story hidden. The question is, will she accept Matthew? I'm not sure. Well, if she doesn't, we'll just have to take her abroad. In these moments, you can normally find an Italian who isn't too picky. We'll give her till the start of the grouse. Very well. If she turns Matthew down, we'll take her to Rome in the autumn. It's official. Thank you for not turning against her. I know that you have rules, and when people break them, you find it hard to forgive. I understand that, and I respect it. 
In this case, Mary has the trump card. What? Mary is family. <laughs> 